So guys, you finally have been asking and asking and asking Nick, can you please tell us your proper diet program, the proper one, showing you everything. I've, I've typed it up this time so it's much clearer. It's a weekly program times by six months. So we're gonna do this for six months. If you want to get started, I want to get fit, I want to get healthy. This, just before we start this diet program, this diet program is not a diet program to get you ripped and hench. That's not the muscles I'm looking for. I'm not looking for big arms and big chest. This muscle, this program is gonna make you mentally fit, healthy in the head, healthy inside, physically fit. And this is, this is diet program is for cardiovascular. It's so funny, and I've seen it on TV shows and I've seen it on documentaries. I've seen a skinny guy versus a big hench guy in a cardio challenge. The big hench guy lost. It's not about big and hench muscles. You can be big and hench and chested muscles, but you tell one of them big hench guys to do a pull up, they can't even do it because they're physically, their core is physically not capable of doing it because their upper arms are so heavy and so big. This is not the diet program for you if you want to get hench. Don't use your diet program. This is an ab program as well. This program hopefully in six months will give you a six pack guys because he's gave me a six pack in six months so if you guys want one this program i'm not saying it's the best out there because also there's better ones in this but this program worked for me and hopefully it'll work for you guys i'm doing this to show off i'm not doing it to go look at this i'm doing it because you guys because i said that this will give you a six pack i'm not just showing this to boast and show you that i have a six pack i'm doing this to show you that this program does work and that i do think it is a fantastic program. So this is what I've been getting guys after six months. I've been getting a six pack, it's not fully defined yet, but it has helped me get there, you know, and it's, helped, it's proper helped me through, I used to be very skinny guys, I'm very, very skinny, and this has helped me put on a few pounds for fighting, you know, it's helped me get a few abs which will protect me from the punches and from the core and stuff, and this is all from Muay Thai, this is a full Muay Thai workout here. You know, and that's what I'm saying to you guys. You don't have to be big and hench in the upper body. It's all about inside and it's all about the core. This is what will give you your defined packs is the core. So this program will hopefully give you guys a six but will hopefully make you mentally and physically fit. Right, remember what I said guys. This is in the link below. Sorry, let it come focus. There you go. So this is the link below. So I'm going to read through and then you guys, after the video, you click on the link and you can read through yourself and check it out. And if you want to start the program, then start it. It's a six months course, as I said. So let's get started. Days, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Monday's breakfast. I start with an oat porridge. So oats, oats is like them little, I have to make a video of me making them. So oats is porridge. Yes, porridge. Then... I get sliced bananas. So sliced bananas is for fast releasing energy. Bananas will give you fast releasing energy. So that's why I put the bananas on top of it. Because I usually have this in the morning to wake me up, to give me some extra boost and some extra energy to start the day. I had this before I went to the exams, guys. And it made me feel awake on top. And it made me actually focus more. Like, it's weird because you think energy will make you more hyperactive. It made me more focused. So that's, that's breakfast. Lunch on a Monday. This is what you need to have for lunch. This is the lunch I mostly have through my week because it's so healthy and it, it, it is, it's got everything you need, all the five things in it. Protein, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, water, all that. And it is fantastic. So this is, so this is it. Brown bread. Brown bread is more healthy than white bread because brown bread's got all the nuts and seeds and you need nuts for protein. So that's the main thing, nuts and oils for protein. So you have you need brown bread with avocado. If you don't know what avocado is, guys, it's that green, it's that green, that little like fruit looking thing. That is so good for you. That's got iron in it. It's got protein in it. It's so good. That's the main thing my coach said to eat that because it is so good for you. You even see all the professional UFC fighters like Conor McGregor and John Jones, all that eating that eating this lunch. This lunch is so good for you. So brown bread with avocado. And then, on top of the brown bread and avocado, you have an egg, a white egg, so you have an egg with it. Healthier, an uh, egg is for protein, so this is more healthier than just a normal, if you shove like the white bit. You don't want the white bit on it, all you want is the little egg with the yellow bit on it. That's what you want. You don't want the white bit, that's got the crap in it, so you want the yellow little protein yolk thing, if that's what I'm talking about. You can still have a tiny bit of white stuff in it to hold the egg in it, but you don't want too much of it. Alright, for dinner on a Monday, I have one chicken breast, but quite a big one. One chicken breast and brown 
and brown rice. Brown rice is more healthy than white rice again. Brown rice is for energy, for carbohydrates. So chicken breast with brown rice. Chicken for protein, brown rice for carbohydrates, as I've already said. So Monday's train, oh yeah, the reason why I don't eat four to five times a day is because that will make me fat. I need to stay nice and lean for my fight and for my weight. I want to fight at 55, 56 kilos. So I want to stay lean. I don't want to stay, I don't want to get hench and be upright. I like to stay nice and light on my toes, nice and flexed. So that's why I want to stay at that. Also, running, when I go for runs and stuff, I like to be light. I can run more further. My cardiovascular is more better. So a training session on a Monday, flexibility training is everything. If you want to, you don't have to just get flexible to fight or to kick hard. Flexibility will make you feel so much better when you wake up in the morning. You won't wake up with stiff and cramps, you'll wake up nice and loose, nice and fresh. So that's flexibility. Stretching, flexibility training and stretching. You have to stretch to get flexible, you can't just automatically get flexible. It takes, it took me almost two years guys to nearly be able to do the splits. That's how flexible you have to be if you want to do Muay Thai. You need to be able to kick high. You need to be able to feel nice and light on your toes. You don't want to feel stuck in the mud. Because if you feel stuck in the mud, then there's no point of you fighting. So let's start. Loosen up the joints. Also condition your shins for Muay Thai. When you flex, when you're stretching, you don't notice guys. When you're fle um, stretching and leaning down, that is strengthening your shins, your shin bone. That is stretching them. I mean... Strengthening them, it'll make them stronger because you're constantly, when you crouch down, when you constantly hit the pads, you're making these tiny bone breaks. I don't know sure what they're called, but they make little like light breaks. And over time, these breaks repair and they wrap around each other, and then your shins almost become like stone. I see these professional Muay Thai fighters kicking through with metal baseball bats and wooden baseball bats because that's because their shins have conditioned to do this. It makes that's the word, it makes tiny micro fractures, micro fractures on the shin to make them stronger. Tuesday, breakfast on a Tuesday, I have sliced fruit, apples, bananas, strawberries. This is all, all this fruit I've just mentioned is for vitamin C and energy. Vitamin C is vital guys because you don't always have sunlight, you need vitamin C to stay healthy. And if you don't have vitamin C, it can also cause a deficiency. I think it's like sunlight or something deficiency. So that's that, you need vitamin C in your diet. For lunch on a Tuesday, I have another chicken breast, a big one again. Chicken breast with brown pasta, you know, brown bread and all that, brown pasta. That chicken for protein and brown pasta for carbohydrates, you guys already know that. So dinner on a Monday, I have pork steak with sweet potatoes. Pork steak is something I absolutely love after a training session. Nice pork and nice steak. So sweet potato, if you haven't had that, it's an orange potato, guys. Much better than normal potatoes. It tastes so much better, I think. It gives you much more energy. More, it's got a tiny bit of protein in it as well. And it tastes so much sweeter than normal potato. So try it out. It's an orange potato, sweet potato. And the training session on a Tuesday. This is what I do. Striking training and hitting the tie pads. Um, and sparring with your partner, also practicing footwork and movement. So striking is hitting them tie pads. Like, like I do with my dad, I do that for five, five, um, five, three minute rounds, yes? For five, three minute rounds, yes? That's what I do, hitting the pads and striking training. Then I spar, heavy sparring, it's not light sparring. I wear my gum shield, gloves, shin guards and groin protector. And then you're ready for full sparring. This sparring is much better for you because you get used to fighting, you get less scared, more confident inside the ring, and you take you get used to taking the hits, taking the shots. So that's that. And practicing footwork. Footwork is vital in a fight. I'm not fantastic at this year. I've come on a lot more since my footwork used to be. Footwork is like dodging punches, slicking everything, moving. That's the footwork you need in a fight. That will footwork will win you a fight. So I've been practicing that a lot lately. I've been asking my coach how to like move properly, and that's what you need to know the most. Footwork is vital. Wednesday for breakfast, I have two eggs with brown bread and smoked salmon. So you've got the brown bread, you have the two eggs on top, and then smoked salmon. If you don't like salmon, uh, unlucky for you. Those of you who love smoked salmon, smoked salmon is a cold piece of salmon, tiny like little thin slices. You don't have to cook them. You can eat them out the fridge because they're already cooked. They're cold and nicer. You can mix that up with the egg and brown bread and it is the perfect dinner. It is, I mean, breakfast. That gives you energy, protein. It, it gives you even carbohydrates for loads of stuff. So for lunch on the Wednesday, I have an oat pancake. Those of you who don't know what an oat pancake is, it's not a pancake, it's you make it yourself. So you need half a cup, this is the recipe. You need half a cup of oats, 
but you need two eggs first. So you two, put two eggs in a bowl, break them, two eggs in a bowl, and then leave them. Don't stir them yet, so two eggs in a bowl. And then you put half a cup of oats on top of that, and then stir it around until the oats are nice and mixed with the eggs, until you can't see the eggs no more. Then you pour that into a saucepan and you fry it for 10 minutes, I mean five minutes until you see both sides of the pancake golden and browny colour and then it's perfect to eat with a tiny bit of honey on it and sliced bananas. That is an awesome lunch. Energy, main thing there, carbohydrates is vital there. Then for dinner, after a Wednesday, after my Muay Thai session, this rhymes, I have Thai green curry. Thai green curry, if you haven't had it, it's just chicken um, with rice and then that sauce on top. Lovely, like, like lemon flavoured sauce for Thai green curry. And the Wednesday training session, so you have to listen to this, the Wednesday training session is a Muay Thai session, full five three minute rounds and then after I've done the full five three minute rounds, you go onto the heavy bag and work that for another four minutes after that. And then after that, you go straight on to sparring again. So that's that. Thursday for breakfast, I have porridge with sliced bananas. So porridge, you know what porridge is guys, and then you have some bananas in it. Tastes lovely, and you don't have to add sugar in that because banana is sweet enough, so that gives you energy, carbohydrates, glucose, and everything. That gets you start in the morning, makes you feel nice and fresh. Then for lunch on a Thursday, I have pasta with tuna or chicken in it. So tuna and chicken for protein and stuff, and pasta for energy. Then for dinner on a Thursday, I have chicken breast with vegetables and brown rice. Broccoli is the main vegetable I eat, guys, because that's got so much stuff in it. I love broccoli as well. So for dinner, I mean, the training session on Thursday, I train TKD, which is short for Taekwondo. So Taekwondo training, that's practicing in all them spinning hill kicks, that's practicing kicks, high kicks and stuff, you know, them front kicks, the tees and all that. That's what you practice for when you do TKD in training. And then after I do an hour of TKD training, I practice BJJ with my dad and my personal trainer in the gym. Not my Muay Thai trainer, my personal trainer in the gym. I do a bit of Taekwondo training. I mean, BJJ. BJJ is ground game, grappling, moving, taking a partner down. I'm not very good at that. I've been only doing that for about four months now, guys, and I've come on quite a lot since I've started. Last but not least, Friday. Friday, the last day of training. On a Friday, I have, for breakfast, I have brown bread with two eggs and spinach. So brown bread, two eggs on top, and spinach is them little, like, lettuce-looking leaves. Spinach, protein, main protein in that. Spinach. Then for lunch on a Friday, I have a taco wrap, so a fajita wrap, with chicken and lettuce inside. The chicken needs to be like, I don't know how to explain it, like a chilli, spicy. If you don't like spicy, you can just have normal chicken, but I love spicy, chilli chicken in that. Then for dinner on a Friday, I have fish cod fillip. So I have a cod fillip with sweet potato, so white, fresh cod, guys. You can get that from, I think, M&S or somewhere, very fresh, with sweet potatoes again. And then vegetables. Then, after dinner on a Friday, you can have a treat because you've been eating all well, you've been cutting out all the snacks and chocolate and crisps all week. Friday's the one day you can have a piece of chocolate cake or an ice cream. You can treat yourself on a Friday, you know. I do Muay Thai fighters do, my coach does, my personal trainer does, so you can do that. You can treat yourself. Training session on a Friday, I have a full Muay Thai session. Working the pads, um, punching the heavy bags. After I do this, I have a heavy sparring session. That's proper sparring again, basically fighting, but you're not obviously trying to knock your partner out. So heavy sparring session. You need to wear protection for that, guys. Protective gear, gum shields, leg guards, um, wraps, gloves, and groin protector. So that's that. Saturday and Sunday are your rest days. You need rest is the most imp rest is more important than training. You need to rest to regrow your muscles, let your muscles repair. You have to have rest. If you don't rest, you can end up in fighting. If you don't know who Anderson Silva is, go and search him up. He's a black UFC fighter. He kicked his opponent because he didn't rest. He need his coach said you need to rest and he didn't. He trained two extra days and he needed them two days for rest. He kicked his opponent and his leg, his shin snapped in half because he didn't let his muscles regrow and repair. So repair and rest is the most important thing in training. You need to rest to let your muscles grow to rebuild. So that's the session done. Go and check it out, the link is down below. So click on it, check it out. So that's today's video, I'm not doing a vlog today, it was just a full training diet program, me talk about my training and my program. Those of you who want to come down, if you live near, I'm not gonna announce my dress and stuff where I live, but if you live in London, Kent, Come down to Scorpion's Tarbox and Gym. It's open. Get 
my coach wants more people to come down, so come down. It's an amazing gym. I absolutely love it. It's the best gym I've ever been to. It's awesome. The training, they're so nice guys in it. They train you. They're not just, they don't just let you get along. They come over and teach you how to hit properly, how to kick properly. They're amazing people. So come down to Scorpions Tire Boxing Gym in Beckham. Anybody's welcome. A session is £12. You're more than welcome to come down, guys. So come down if you want to come down. So thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, Hit the thumbs up. We'll be back tomorrow as a normal vlog. I promise you. Tomorrow is a normal vlog. A house tour tomorrow. So, see you tomorrow, guys.